Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with my review of the Pelican M200 Moonstone Fountain Pen. 2020, interesting year. Not the most pleasant of years, to be honest. But that hasn't stopped some of the pen manufacturers producing their annual special edition fountain pens and this pelican m200 moonstone is pelican's special edition fountain pen for the m200 range which is affordable or more affordable than many of their other fountain pens so let's talk about the pen well as it sits silently in the viewfinder of my camera it looks fairly unassuming it's a pretty standard grey resin plastic fountain pen. Let's look more closely. Well we've got the Pelican clip, all silver furnishings on this. We've got the Pelican logo on the top feeding her chick, which I'm trying to get that to focus. There we go, a bit better. So I always find that that's really nice. I like the Pelican clips. They're very functional, easy to slide on and off things, really nice clips. So silver clip, silver finial up here, silver cap band down at the base, which is always nice with, you know, Pelican Germany and all that stuff going on. Silver coloured band down here and the piston turning knob because this is, of course, a piston filling fountain pen. One thing I love about Pelican fountain pens on capping. I can't even tell you how many turns this is. Let's see. Half, less than three quarters of a turn to on cap. So really, really convenient, quick. You can do it one handed, on capping, brilliant experience. And it's a typical Pelican design. I mean, it is not cigar shaped, more of a um, sort of straight fountain pen, typical M200 style, nothing fancy in that way and we weren't going to expect it. Now this Moonstone edition is a grey fountain pen and I really do like grey fountain pens. I wish there were more of them available um, because it makes a change from black and navy blue and things like that. I think grey is a very nice colour, it, it goes with every ink in my view um, and this is a really really nice addition to the Edelstein Gemstone Pelican range so Pelican Edelstein no Pelican A Pelican M200 Moonstone fountain pen and it is grey and as you can see it's also a demonstrator so you can actually see the piston and everything going on there. I can't even see the ink because I think that's the dark ink that I'm using, which I will talk about in a moment when we do the writing sample because that's quite important. And now we've got close, we can see that this pen isn't just grey, a grey translucent demonstrator. There are, in fact, sparkles, very fine sparkles throughout the whole pen. Piston turning knob, the barrel and the cap. And it's a shame because in the right lighting, these really do show up quite nicely and it's almost garish. I mean, this is natural light coming in through the window. Nah, it's not really showing up. There are, and this is the way that the resin has been mixed, there are some rainbow effects from these sparkles, but only in the cap. I'm sure that there will be variations between the pens. But as you can see, at first it looks like a very utilitarian dark grey but translucent fountain pen demonstrator fountain pen but when you really start to look at this pen the sparkles are quite um, quite significant they're not gaudy we're not talking uh, Bennu sparkles here we are talking something a bit more subdued and refined but it is a sparkly fountain pen so you may not think that it's completely suitable for your own tastes or uses if sparkles aren't something you're interested in. 
So let's unscrew that. As you can see, the section is exactly the same, which is lovely. We have steel nib. This is a medium steel nib with the, you know, the typical Pelican plastic feed underneath. Nice length. And I know the Pelican M200 is a, if you like, a smaller fountain pen, but it fits nicely in my hand. I have no issues with this and it posts really securely quite deeply really securely and it doesn't add any extra weight to the back of the pen it's very well balanced i always write with this pen unposted though it's just what i do and i find it really comfortable to write with both from a width girth point of view and also the length really really nice so let's do the writing sample because i want to talk to you about the ink that i have in this uh, pelican fountain pen. Medium steel nib as I said. So, wet. Now this is something with Pelican nibs. And this is why Pelican inks tend to be quite dry, is because if you do actually match the ink to the pen, as far as branding goes, um, Pelican inks are quite dry. Pelican nibs tend to be really, really quite wet, and this is absolutely no exception. As you can see, it lays down tons and tons of ink really quickly. Oops. That was me skipping over the edge of the page. Uh, this ink is KWZ Warsaw Dreaming, which is a black ink. And I've been using this in various pens in pens. And thought, yeah, it's a nice ink. It's flowing well, it's you know, it's dark, it's a good black. In this pen. I tried it on Oxford Optic Paper, and I hope it's going to show up on here. Let me just have a quick look. Yes, it does. Can you see that it almost looks like the ink hasn't actually dried? There we go. Can you see that sheen, silver sheen? That is still a little bit wet, but up here. And on the right paper, Oxford Optic Paper, for example, this ink is fabulous in this pen because it is it's basically a black sheening, well, it's a black sheening silver ink, really fabulous writing experience. And this nib really does do the ink justice. And these Pelican nibs are superb for displaying ink properties really, really well. So, absolutely love it. Reverse writing? No, forget it. And the funny thing is, I've not been 100% happy with Pelican nibs. They're all right. They're pretty damn good, to be honest. But they're just not, not really exciting enough. I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe I expect more. They're always good, but just not exciting. But with the right ink, and this nib is suddenly become one of my um, favorite fountain pens for use with this ink because it sheens it's lovely and it's a really really good fountain pen i like the gray fountain pens and let's just compare it with alarmy vista as you can see quite a bit shorter uncapped oops it's not screw uncapped you know it's not a terrible length people say oh it's only a short fountain pen m2 pelican m200 no that's when you compare it to something like the uh, larger pelicans this is a good pen 
and it writes really fabulously. Not exciting at all, but it writes fabulously. Oops, I'm going to try and get the nib the right way around. Fine. You can squeeze in cap. So, you know, you do have some line variation. It's not a flex nib, but it writes really well. So this is a really, really recommended fountain pen. As 2020 draws to the draws to a close, the Pelican Edelstein Ink and Fountain Pen of the Year, in this case Moonstone, it's definitely worth buying. So if you haven't thought about pulling the trigger on this fountain pen already, I would do so. Really do recommend it. So thanks very much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.